A Metro family's world turned upside down just days before their daughter's birthday. They learned she passed away from a fentanyl overdose. It turns out what she thought was an oxycodone pill was really a deadly fake. KOCO's Evan Onstott with that family's loss and the drug now getting dealers charged with murder. You have no idea the impact you made on my life. August the 6th. It was probably about 11 or 11.30 at night. I had, I was actually in bed and they had called my wife's phone to inform us that she was at the emergency room. Keith Montgomery will never forget the night he lost his daughter, Leah Marie. The doctor came in and told us that she had passed away and it was a fentanyl overdose. But fentanyl wasn't a drug Leah Marie ever intended to take. Going back almost uh, five years, when we started to see different drug organizations basically purchasing uh, black market fentanyl and pressing it to look like U.S. pharmaceuticals. Mark Woodward with the Oklahoma Bureau of Narcotics has been tracking these laced pills since they made their way to the state. We had eight overdose deaths within about a six, seven day period. It's sometimes the last people you would suspect. She was just adventuresome and she was a leader. She she wasn't a follower. She, she led the group wherever she went. Keith admits his daughter had her struggles with addiction. It was heartbreaking to see that because you just never expect your child to, to be involved in, in to that level. You can't make people go to treatment. You can't make people quit whatever they're doing. It, it's until they're ready to get the help. And so one day she called and she said, I'm ready for help. And Leah Marie did get help. She went to rehab. She moved into a sober living house. She was baptized. And in her father's words... Commented about it was the most wonderful time of her life. She had found her faith, her family, and her friends. Leah had taken a job working for the very program that helped her get sober. She had found her calling, helping others get sober and find faith. Then just two days before her 31st birthday, after nearly four years of sobriety, Leah relapsed. It was one, one night she decided to take a pill, but she didn't know what was in it. And unfortunately, the first time after being clean and sober, it killed her. I was fortunate because we knew where she had got him through the police. And so we, they were able to track it back to the dealer. We are making the decision to charge drug traffickers uh, with first degree murder. Attorney General Mike Hunter has made a priority out of holding drug producers and distributors accountable. He and his team have now recommended a bill that would give them more power to prosecute traffickers of fentanyl. And when you've got a drug like this, which is so fundamentally and demonstrably deadly, we just, we, we think the law needs to be stricter. We think the punishment needs to be uh, more severe. The AG's office has charged the man who sold laced pills to Leah Marie with first degree murder. He currently sits in the Oklahoma County Jail awaiting trial. I'm sure that he's being prosecuted to the limits of the law. Yeah. And please tell Mr. Montgomery that. There's a time, and it's, that time is now, to hold these, these people accountable. They're killing people, and they don't care. My daughter's life was worth probably a $40 pill. That's not right. When you lose a child, it, it really just, it, it changes your life from that point on forever. It really tears part of your heart out. And our hearts go out to the families, that family and others affected by this legislation that we mentioned there, seeking to punish more severely people who traffic fentanyl is expected to be heard in Judiciary Committee tomorrow at the state capitol. We will be sure to follow that and bring you the latest.